Hello and welcome back all my Dragon Ball theorists and recently I did a video on the one above all theory and this video picks up on some of the comments left in that video and some things I didn't get a chance to get into. I gave some reasoning behind the two Zenos and how the Grand Prix can possibly transcend time and how he knew of Zamasu and his Zero Mortal plan. One thing brought up is if the Grand Priest has the ability to be present in every timeline then how could he have not known of whose idea it was to bring future Zeno to meet the present one? Well it is true that the Grand Priest can see everything, however he doesn't know everything. There are limits to his powers and he isn't omnipotent or omniscient. So if Yamcha is telling Xiao Tzu a joke, the Dai Shinkan won't know because he just doesn't care. That isn't something that would draw his attention. So the Grand Priest just didn't know about whose idea it was to bring future Zeno. However, keep in mind that the, even the angels possess a way to find out what they want. When we learned that Universe 6 Earth was destroyed, Bovados and Whis decided to look through its history to see what happened. You see, even angels can see through time, and the Grand Priest, being the most powerful of the angels, can do this and see anything that he wants. All it would take is for him to look. So he can definitely see all, but doesn't know all. So in that video, I left it as the Grand Priest could be the one above all, which it was nice to say that theory, but I don't think that that is completely accurate. Do I think he is above Zeno and all the characters in the Dragon Ball universe? Yes, however, there is always room for more. Which brings us to why there are now limits on Zeno's power, and the answer is actually very simple. When Zeno was introduced in episode 41, the truck stopped there on what the ultimate was in Super. Nothing could go higher or be more powerful than the Omni King as he stood on top of the Dragon Ball universe. However, after 100 episodes strong, DBS is a huge success and no reason why we won't get another 100 episodes. And the one trend that has always stood true in Dragon Ball is more and more powerful characters. How do we get more powerful characters if Zeno is all powerful? Simple, slowly start giving us clues that he isn't. Which is how when we ended up with two Zenos, it made us all ask how can there be two all powerful beings? Which is why when we learn Zeno relies on the Grand Priest to show him everything and he isn't omniscient. Then most recently, Zeno can't follow Dispo's speed. Now many love to bring up how the Supreme Kai states that no matter what, Zeno can't be undone as a credible source saying he is in fact all powerful. However, that is very misleading information because the Supreme Kai just doesn't know. You see, when Zeno first appeared, he didn't even know who he was and asked the Elder Kai who is that child with the slightly irritating face. Of course, the Elder Kai smacked him and said you imbecile. Now personally, I am not taking the words of an imbecile that knows nothing about Zeno as hard facts. It's just what the Supreme Kai believes is true. So his abilities and powers are shrinking because that just means that you can always introduce someone above Zeno as the series goes on, which then leads to the theories that I propose that indeed, the Grand Priest has far more qualities of someone running the show and is above Zeno. While that may be true, in Dragon Ball I don't think that will stop there, and there is plenty of room to say that the Grand Priest who also has limits to his abilities is in fact serving someone else, that he was put in place to watch over Zeno, and that makes up for the areas where he lacks the abilities to perform as the Omni King. It's actually a perfect union. We still don't know much about the angels or how Whis or anyone was born being that the Dai Shin Khan is their father. So could the angels come from a divine place we haven't seen yet? And much like how the gods of destruction are appointed, the very same could have happened to Zeno. Still, so many questions and many people make fun of the writing in DBS, however they are now writing in a way to introduce someone above everyone we haven't seen yet. It's actually brilliant in my opinion and while of course I could be wrong, I think as the series goes on and we get into future arcs, don't be surprised if a new all-powerful character is introduced in Dragon Ball Super. So tell me what you guys think are the reasons why we are now seeing Zeno have weaknesses a perfect way to introduce a new more powerful character? Do you think the Grand Priest is the true Omni King or just serving yet someone else and was put in place to guide Zeno? I always love to hear your theories in the comments below and I do try to read through all of them. However, there is a chance sometimes I miss your comments on YouTube so another way to ask me questions is on Facebook and Twitter. Hope everyone is having a great day and don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to support the channel and keep those theories coming.